Alright, so let's take control of the seasons in Blender using geometry nodes and shader nodes combined. This is going to be a step by step tutorial and anyone with basic knowledge of Blender can join in and let's make this together. To break this down, we are going to use an object to make a mask between our summer textures and our winter textures to have a smooth transition between them. And then finally, we are going to make use of geometry nodes to make our animation more interactive. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's begin by downloading this blend file, link in description and here you are going to find a piece of land, camera is set and we are going to begin by scattering our trees on this land first. Alright, so let's begin. Okay, so I am going to just select this land and open up my GeoNode editor and let's scatter this tree on this land. So first of all, I need to tell Blender on which vertices these trees should be scattered. I will select this plane again, press tab and I will choose the vertices, vertices around the house this way. I mean, it's up to you. I am selecting these ones. Let's get this out and I will go into my groups, assign. All right, first step is done. Now I will come back here. I will spawn a distribute node distribute point on faces here we have something like this I will also spawn join geometry right. and we have something like this now we have some points over the surface so now just let's tell blender like where these points should be and I will click on this plane again this is where our selection thing will come into play I will just join it here and in the modifiers tab I will click on this option and select my group and there we have it our points are right where we want it next thing what I will do is spawn uh, an instance on point node and I will just drag my tree which is a cube into my node tree like this and I will just plug it in right there and there we have our trees on the plane now just let's randomize the scale of the trees as they are all of the same scale and I will spawn in scale instances and let's plug it in here and I will choose a random value node and plug this here and choose a minimum value here like this maybe increase the trees this is up to you let's increase it as a whole and also let's use poison this so that our trees do not overlap I will choose a minimum distance something like this and I think this one is fine I will also increase total scale of our trees maybe something like this and if you go into your render view and switch on the lights you have your beautiful scenes ready to be shaded so let's just start our you know summer scene let's shade our grass first our trees first and we will custom our, customize our snowy scene within that so let's start by shading our ground i will select this plane press tab select one of its vertices press l and make a new material assign new and let's open the shader editor here and i will start by adding a noise texture color ramp and also press control T not control spacebar control T alright so let's plug this in and see what we have we have something like this let's add in our object mapping and also let's decrease the scale these settings are up to you I will increase distortion decrease scale and I will add in our green shaders here maybe dark green so let's just also add in a bump material here add a color ramp plug this value here and see what happens when you plug it in I will get this black value here the white ones are the part which will actually pop out let's do it something like this and add it in height this goes here and let's see what we have here not too good let's increase decrease the strength of it a bit I think now it's fine let's increase the scale I think our ground is pretty fine for a low policy so let's move on to our trees 
so for trees let's come back to our main object which is here I will go into my render view here press tab and I will select this vertices 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 whatever it is press L and go here L and here L and I will gather in two materials here assign new and let's give this a green a dark green shade and I will also get a hue and saturation node pick this material drop it here and plug it right there so now I want that every color every tree should have a different color from the rest so for that I will get in an object info node and I will plug in random into value so that we have different shades of green but now we have extreme like two green and two black I will gather and get in a color ramp and I will just get this towards white like this so we have different shades maybe what we can do is duplicate it drop this color into the gray and get a different shade of green toward yellow maybe something like this and if I plug in random hair and plug this here so it will select every shade I mean all the shades between them and get a difference in trees here and we have our beautiful trees set in two minutes so lastly I will just select the tree trunk here select this vertice press L and I will simply just select the dark brown color and we are set let's also select the rocks and give them them a gray color maybe towards dark brown all right now our summer scene is set so let's customize it for our snowy scene so let's first just let's turn our trees into snowy trees and i will shift d to duplicate my principal bstf and i will gather in a gradient texture and noise texture a color ramp and let's control T here and let's plug this here and let's see what happens when we plug this in so now we have some transition from black and white that is from X to Y I will get in a separate XYZ and I want the Z coordinates and now we have like snow coming from the top let's get this get this right here and I will also use the mix color to just spice things up get this here and input a noise texture so we have some good mixing between the gradient and a noise texture here and I will just give this black a green color maybe same thing as this and plug this in here and see how it looks alright maybe let's get this thing here and here let's also get in a bump node and also a color ramp plug this value here and this here maybe first of all let's see what's happening white ones will pop up we want something like this and let's plug it here and let's see not good let's decrease it till here decrease the strength maybe now it's looking fine maybe like this maybe also get the green to the bottom of it a minor green should be visible so we have our snowy trees set now let's just use a mixed shader so that we can come back to our snowy trees and go back to our winter trees like this so let's move on and shade our ground for ground this is going to be an easy step I will simply duplicate this node setup get off this color and shift D get this here let's plug it in and see what happens now I just want this black to be green so that we have snow and grass a mix of snow and grass let's also decrease the value of black and give this a dark green color and also let's increase a little bit get this more dark and for this maybe we should have a higher strength of bumps so that you know it's like snow is on top of the ground and we have something like this I mean you can tweak it as much to your liking 
this is up to you and lastly just throw in a mix shader in so that we can switch back and forth from our winter scene to our summer scene like this and let's get to our roof so for roof let's choose do some smart works where our roof material is 010 and we just did our ground shader which is this I will simply select these nodes Control C go back to my roof material Control V and I will drop this color right here and let's plug this in now we have something going on I will get my roof material to the farthest and let's get our snow in and we have our snow on the roof quick and easy also I think I just messed up my door I will just select this select the windows and maybe give it a lighter shade of brown like this it had the roof material which was looking weird all right so we are set and let's finally um, throw in a mix shader between the original material and the material that we created just now mix shader in and this and we can switch back and forth and now we have come to our semi-final step in which we are going to use a UV sphere you can use any object which will act as a mask between our summer shader and our winter shader all right so let's first settle this up by giving it pounds display as pound UV sphere we have this let's also give it as a give it a transparent shader and I will also where is this object I will also hide this from our render all right so we have this so the idea is this the the location and scale of this object should create a mask so let's just start with our ground I am going to select my ground material here and let's get in a texture coordinate texture coordinate is here and I will select this object and let's get in a vector math choose length and get this here also let's get this here and see what happens so if I increase it I will see it is in interacting with it let's also tweak it up shift D add and I will select decrease a bit of it so we have our black and white contrast so now if you if you drag this around we have our mask created successfully all right so let's tweak it up further I will also get in a mixed color node get this here get a noise texture in get object vector coordinates and select this here and also get in a color ramp so that we have a smooth mask created and now our work is done we will just use this mask to separate these two materials I will just plug this right here in the factor and plug this here and now see the magic we have our ground shader done so we are just going to use the simple node material and copy it for our trees and for our roof Control C and let's go to our tree also Control V and let's also plug this value in the factor our trees are also being affected if you see like this so let's just also get a roof sorted now I will choose my roof material and control V and choose this uh, plug this in our factor and we have our work done like this we have our season shifting from summer to winter and this is the final step for the people who want to stand out I will open my geometry node editor and let's throw in our rotate instances and I will also use a random value and combine XYZ plug this here so that we have a random rotation for every tree let's get this till here maybe till here all right now the idea is that this effect should affect the location the z location of these trees so so we need a set position after 
our distribute points on faces and I will use a combined X, XYZ plug this here and with the help of this we can position our Z coordinates of our point so right so let's begin and now if you remember we created a mask in the shader editor like this which gives us the value of scale and location so in the geometry nodes we are going to do the same and the method will be a bit different all right so first of all I will get my effector into this collection which is the sphere 001 choose relative and I will get in a proximity node so this value here math I will divide scale by distance so the simple node setup is doing the same thing which a shader editor was doing here all right so let's see I will go, go back and let's plug this into our Z value and first of all choose divide here and see so its location and scale is doing something to it but it's not quite what we need so I will tell blender I mean what its final position and its initial position should be so for that we have a float curve a float curve has value from 0 which is initial 1 which you can tweak I will throw this in and I will also use a color ramp in between to have a minor control over this effect something like this maybe and our, our initial position is 0 if you see if I decrease it and our final position is up in the air which I can tweak by using a math node and applying a multiplier our final position is increasing now and this is up to you you can take as high as you can now if you just want to tweak it a bit more I will just get my initial value at top first and then down and then top again and back to its initial position and there you have it our seasons are shifting I hope you enjoyed this tutorial until next time